The Vegas Golden Knights punched their ticket to the second round after a gentleman's sweep of the Winnipeg Jets. Dennis, our coverage here on the fourth period is presented to you by Bodog. When it feels like all that's left is work hard, it's time to play again. Easily find your next favorite game with Bodog. Free casino games, poker tips, and sports odds. Make a play. All right, DB, goals in each of the first minutes of the first mm-hmm. period and the second period of game five. The Vegas Golden Knights were just way too much for the Winnipeg Jets, weren't they? Note to the Maple Leafs. That's how you close out a series when you're up three games to one. A dominant performance. They got better as the series went on. Earth. And remember, they played this game without Braid McNabb, who was injured, and Shea Theodore, who was sick. And he was out with an illness. Uh, They look like a very dangerous team, but I will tell you this. They have a lot of talent on that team, but Mark Stone changes the paradigm for this team. You can see how he just has willed this team throughout the series. A beautiful goal tonight. It's almost like a a Harlem Globetrotters move or something like that, taking the puck down, uh, put it to a stick. But it's uh, a complete victory for one of the deepest teams in the Stanley Cup playoffs, the Vegas Golden Knights. You mentioned Mark Stone. I want to get to him in a second because he is the captain of that team and really the heartbeat, but... This guy, Jack Eichel, played a lot of hockey not going into the playoffs. And then just his second game into this postseason has a goal, and he's effective, and he's out there, and he's brilliant every single night, isn't he? Yeah, he's been fantastic. But people are waiting to see what kind of Jack Eichel we would get in the postseason. You're getting your answer with this guy. He's an elite player, and he's surrounded by great players. This is, like again, a very deep, big, dangerous team. And if they're going to get the, the saves at the right time from Bressois, can they emerge from the West? Absolutely. Now, a bunch of teams that can. There are other teams looking good. But, again, this team has showed its class. And on the Winnipeg side, Earth, I mean, there's going to be a lot of decisions to be made in Manitoba over the summer with respect to this franchise. Yeah, it's going to be a very big summer for the Winnipeg Jets. And, look, I mean, it's very hard for a, for, for a team in Canada to, acquire, to try and get free agents, but it's a little bit harder there in Winnipeg as well. So they might have to do a little rebuilding through the draft or, or via trade. But uh, let's, let's put a bow on this series, you know. Mark Stone, he's a guy that's battled injuries. Obviously, he was a guy that's beloved in Ottawa and then obviously ends up in Vegas with the Golden Knights. How much does he mean to this team? He means everything. He's the engine that runs this team. He's the engine that powers this team. He's the heart and soul. And granted, there are a lot of good players around him, but you could see they're just a much more driven. He's one of those guys Earth, that drags his team into the fight and doesn't let them get out of the fight. He's done that. And again, two back surgeries over the past year. We're just a, a massive effort by this player who you can see why he wears the C for this team in Vegas. DB, you're the best. That's why you wear the C for us as our <laughs> playoff coverage will continue here on the fourth period as the Vegas Golden Knights now await the winner of the Edmonton Oilers and LA Kings to see who their second round opponent will be in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Our coverage here on the fourth period presented to you by Bodog.